What's up guys? It's John with Buffalo Gaming and I'm coming at you with another Hugo deck profile. Um, today I'll be deck profiling and I know like right off the bat you're like, oh, speedroids. Um, this is actually something kind of unique that I've been working on and playing around with and I think it's turned out awesome and it's amazing and I want to share it with you guys. So without further ado, this is Mecha Phantom Beast Speedroids and I'll get right into the deck profile. Of course, in Speedroids you want to play three Speedroid Teratop. Uh, Terra Top is like a Cyber Dragon if your opponent controls. Or if. I say it's like a Cyber Dragon. If you control no monsters, you can special summon it. And then when it's special summoned, you can add a Speedroid monster from your deck to your hand. Um, we're playing the three uh, Speedroid Toktumborgs. Um, Speedroid Toktumborg, if all the monsters you control are wind type monsters, you can special summon him. You can tribute him off, and then you can special summon a. Uh, Speedroid Tuner from your deck. Moving on to the Speedroid Tuners, we're playing two Speedroid Tri-Eyed Dice. A level 3 Tuner, when it's in the graveyard and your opponent attacks, you can banish it and negate the attack. And then we're playing two of the Speedroid Red-Eyed Dice. Uh, when it's normal or special summon, you can pretty much level manipulate your Speedroids. Um, those are all the Speedroids we're playing in the deck. Moving on to the Mecha Phantom Beast, we're playing three Mecha Phantom Beast Hamstrats. Uh, Hamstrat has two really cool effects. Uh, one is a uh, flip effect per se. Uh, when he's flipped, you get to special summon two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. He also has uh, another effect that you contribute off a token or a Mecha Phantom Beast token to special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast monster from your graveyard. Uh, we're playing three Mecha Phantom Beast uh, Mega Raptor. Uh, Mega Raptor, when he's on the field and a token is special summon, you get to special summon a. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast token, and then you contribute off a, me uh, a token on the field to search another Mecha Phantom Beast monster and add it to your hand. And then you have Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf. Uh, Tetherwolf, when he is normal summoned, it special summons a Mecha Phantom Beast token, and then you can tribute off a Mecha Phantom Beast token and have him or a token and have him gain 800 attack during the battle phase. And that is all the monsters I'm playing. Now moving on to the spells. Of course we're playing three scapegoat. Because tokens, Mecha Phantom Beast. Makes sense. Uh, two Hippo Carnival. Uh, this is kind of... Uh, it's optional. Uh, I play it just for the tokens. Uh, Hippo Carnival. Well, l let me explain something really, really quick. Um, scapegoat. If you all don't know, scapegoat, uh, you cannot use the monster or the tokens for tribute summon of a monster, but you can still use the scapegoat tokens for the Mecha Phantom Beast monster effects. Whereas Hippo Carnival, uh, when Hippo Carnival is activated, you can't tribute them for any effect. Um, you cannot use them for synchro summons because it locks you out of your uh, extra deck, but it does make it to uh, the turn that it's activated. Your opponent has to target uh, the Hippo tokens four attacks. And also, if you're playing Mecha Phantom Beast and you have tokens on the field, a lot of times they will target the tokens so they can get rid of the Mecha Phantom Beast. Um, I'm playing two speed recoveries uh, just to get the Mecha Phantom Beast back, or not the Mecha, I apologize. The speed roids back when you need them, uh, especially the tuners. Um, for removal, we're playing the one Twin Twister for the discard and two MSTs. Um, we're playing uh, one Regeki. And one one for one uh, again for when you need the uh, the tuner. Uh, moving on to traps, we're playing three aerial recharge. I actually have found myself um, from time to time using aerial recharge and tributing off uh, like a scapegoat token to keep this on the field because aerial recharge is really really useful when you have like mega raptor or something on the field because it gives you an extra token um, for. Hate traps. We got two storming mirror force because storming mirror force is amazing. I'm um, playing two horn of heaven because I have the tokens, so why not? Uh, one vanity's emptiness and then one bottomless trap hole. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. Of course, I have the the tokens. I got my mecha phantom beast tokens, uh, my hippo tokens, and then my scapegoat tokens. Just because I like to <laughs> have a bunch of tokens because I think it's cool. Um, now. Moving on to the extra deck, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with uh, XZs first because XZs are really self-explanatory. Uh, we have one Castell the Sky Musketeer, 
Every once in a while, I'll find something that I can't get rid of, and they'll get rid of all the tokens, but leave monsters on the field, and I can make Castell and get rid of, get rid of it. Uh, he's the only rank four I play, and he's also Wind, which is somewhat of an importance. Um, I'm playing one Mecha Phantom Beast Straco Sack because this deck uh, Synchro summons a lot more than it does Xyz. Uh, one number one number eleven Big Eye, and one Red Eyes uh, Flare Metal Dragon. Uh, for the level 9s, I play the one Phantom Fortress Enter Bladner. Uh, it has four effects they all do with like banishing cards from hand, field, graveyard. It's an amazing card. Uh, one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max, just for 2000 damage. And then the Sky Palace Congardia. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he targets a field, a uh, card on the field, destroys it, and inflicts 1000 points of damage. It's uh, two level 10s, two level 10s. Now, moving on to the Synchros, uh, something I have to make uh, very clear, I play all wind Synchros, and the reason I play all wind Synchros is because Speedroids have limitations with Teknoborg. When you use his effect, you can only special summon wind monsters. So the best way to use this deck is with Teknoborg's effect, being able to special summon him, tribute him off and get a tuner, and then you tune with the Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. But anyways, um, first guy I'm making, or... I play uh, level 4. The one level 4 is Old Entity Haster. His wind, really, really good. If you have an MST in hand, you can run into a big problem card and then MST him and get control of that problem card. Uh, two hide speed high speed roid Chambara. It's really, really easy to put a Chambara, a Mecha Phantom Beast token, and like a Tether Wolf or something on the field first turn if you have the right hand. Uh, two of the. Oh, I can't even remember this, guys. The Stardust. Oh my god, he's so shiny, I can't read him. The Stardust Charge Warrior, uh, basically, he can attack every special summon monster on the field, and then when he is Synchro Summoned, you get your draw card. Two level sixes, uh, he's really, really easy to make. He's really, really useful. Uh, for the one level seven, I'm playing the one Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, because he's just a great all around card. Uh, the one Stardust Dragon, and then the one Mistworm. Uh, the reason I play Mistworm is because he's Wind, and it can get rid of uh, three problematic cards really, really easily. So, there you guys have it, uh, Speedroid Mecha Phantom Beasts. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've had uh, great success with the deck. Um, the deck can just pull off some really, really random plays really, really easy. And on top of that, with the scapegoats and the hippo carnivals and stuff, if you run out of resources, you can pretty much stall out and <laughs> until you get more resources. So, there you guys have it. Um, tell me what you think down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoy this deck profile, if you want to try it out and stuff, leave me a like, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.